minutes in Luck- luckily i've never said anything of interest so it, it's not a problem to just skip or, uh, skip around it and just go over it all again i assume these women behind you are uh, shell block h women it'd be, it'd be weird if they weren't wouldn't it yeah even that bloke he's one of, he's one of the screws oh, was he's he? yeah although he's quite lucky to be in this picture because he wasn't there that long his name was steve do they all want to have sex with him? Are they all sex starved in the prison? Uh, he did have sex with one of them. She's not pictured. Oh. But um, there was. I'm just trying to check now to see if they think the episode we're going to cover is going to mention this. No, I don't think it does. It's before this. So this, this is from around the 300, episode 300s. This is this photo was taken there. Yeah. Because B's there. Um, oh, no, B is that one there, the redhead. Oh, yeah. And the freak, who's the lady at the top. She looks angry. She's permanently angry. All right. But also the best character in the show. So uh, there's that as well. But the fact you didn't recognise any of them suggests to me you've never seen an episode of Prison. No, I've never it. seen it. Never, never once watched it. I've seen... When it was on the telly, there were, I remember it being occasional trailers for it, but never actually watched the program. So, what what was your uh, ITV region when you when it was being shown initially? I was in the London area, whatever that was. Thames is that Thames? Thames? Maybe Th- Thames, probably. Yeah, it must have been Thames. Yeah, yeah. because I think Central were the uh, were, were the origins of it. They were doing it like a bit before everyone else, and then it took off, and every region started showing it eventually, <laughs> but. At different points, so they all they started between like I think eighty eight uh, central started, and then another one started in like ninety one. So there was like an ITV region every six months or so just started to start showing it. So no, no, you could you could go around the co- the country and uh, watch Prisoner Cell Block H, but you wouldn't be able to necessarily watch it with any uh, consecutive episodes. No. Be what all time, over what, the place. What time of the day did it go out on? About midnight. Was it that late? Yeah. Well, I might, I might have been when I was out of the pub then, or when I got back from the pub. Yeah, I think. I mean, um, first time round when I first started watching, it was uh, a case of when I started going to the pub was when I stopped watching it. So for years, I didn't see any episodes because uh, I was busy. I was otherwise engaged. Yeah, me too. Uh, in eighties and nineties, I was at the pub most nights, yeah. out somewhere anyway. Yeah, so this, um, so the era of this in terms of when it was first over here was late 80s to early 90s. And it generally ran until about 97 or something like that on ATV. And then when Channel 5 started, they started showing it again from the beginning. So uh, that's it. That's its lifespan in terms of uh, the UK. In Australia, it's 79 to 86. I expect some of these women are dead by now. Um, I think they are, but the only one I definitely know is dead is the one there, Judy. Judy. She's not the think, oldest looking one there. I think she might be the one in um she well, she she died a couple of years ago. She was eighty eight or something like that. Oh, so, not bad, uh, eh? not bad yeah. Indians. Not a bad innings, as they say. <laughs> yeah. But they say that about anyone over like fifty these days, don't they? It's not. Uh, yeah. It's not helping anyone, right? So the the way I do this is I randomly generate uh, a number between one and six hundred and ninety-two to represent a uh, an episode, right. because there were there were nearly seven hundred episodes, and the one that came out for you is episode one hundred and one. 101. 
it's, is it yeah, good, Pri- is it a Prison. Good one? I, I haven't watched it in preparation for this, oh, so. Right. Um, but uh, if you were going to be starting on Prisoner, Prisoner Cell Block H one hundred one does sound like the sort of perfect introduction lesson, yeah. doesn't it? So unless you, th- unless you think of Room one hundred one, yeah. But I was thinking it from the American perspective, where they mean it's like a lesson. Oh yeah, a, a lesson in something is math one hundred one. Yeah, or I'm, I'm with you. Handgun one hundred one. Those sort of those sort of things that they teach over there. Fair so, enough. so yeah, so by episode 101, I know that it was in into its second series because series one was 80 episodes. Was it? Yeah. I think twice weekly for like 40 weeks or something. Have, like I, have I got to watch 101 now then? Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's part of it. But, you know, to in order to give um, you a chance... Because just throwing someone in at the deep end and making them watch an episode without any idea of what the storylines are or the um, or the characters, stuff like that, that would just be unfair. So what I've done is I've prepared a little recap of episode ah. 100. So y- you can at least have an idea of uh, what's going on. Excellent. Yeah, it will, it will make it all clear. And you'll be going, how many characters are there? Because there's, there tends to be quite a lot in these recaps okay so uh let me dig out a recap of episode 100 if i bloody love uh episode 101 can i can i go on youtube or somewhere and watch all the other 700 600 episodes yeah yeah they're all on they're all on youtube i was doing one of these the other day if someone hadn't watched it in years and as soon as they uh watched it they decided they were going to get back on the horse and (laughs) And that was from that was from slap bang in the middle, so <laughs> that was like episode three hundred and something. So it was sort of going from that. Go, I'm just going to carry on watching it from here. Uh, <laughs> right, okay. Let's uh, let's dig out this recap. Previously, on Prisoner Cell Block H, Kevin defends Doreen against the inevitable onslaught of Louisa's prejudiced attitudes. Tony assures Paul that he can't be the father of Sally's child, and Paul agrees to let Sally stay the night. Julie insinuates that Ten Caroline must already. have decided <laughs> to stay inside to be closer to Jim, but when she sees that Caroline doesn't think the remark very funny, she takes it back and admits that they may both have made a bit of a mess of their a lives. sense of humour, Caroline. Louisa seeks story now at the halfway house and is. tells her that if she marries Kevin, she will never see either of them ever again. Lizzie goes after Louisa with a pan to batter her, but her anger turns to regret and she tells Louisa about her own children who were taken away from her, the eldest of them would now be a woman of 50. Jim asks Paul to check on Vivian. Vera takes Sharon to the VJ and on the way manages to manipulate her into believing that it was Judy who framed her. What's the VJ? Kevin thanks Lizzie for setting oh, his mother justice. straight, but uh, both of them are they worried that Doreen has gone. With, like, fisticle, In fact, kind of she has gone to visit B. The VJ doesn't understand the Chrissy, Sharon, Judy situation until Erica explains it for him. When he knows that Judy supplied drugs to Sharon, he discounts Sharon's accusation that Judy planted drugs on her and sends her back to solitary for seven days. Be and Lucky Dora Sharon. talk over their problems. Paul calls at Vivian's house and well, Sharon says and the Judy police have also couple. been round but no one has seen yeah. Vivian for days. Chrissy tries to make peace with Judy, and tells her she prefers men anyway. Judy asks what it's like in solitary and when Chrissy tells her it's okay so long as there is someone in the next cell to talk to, this seems to give Judy an idea. Caroline tells Paul she has no idea where her mother might have gone, and tells him where he can find a key to get into the house. Be asks permission to leave the rec room and go back to her cell. You can tell but how instead, fast she moving. goes to Judy's yeah. cell to put her straight about dealing drugs. Quite a what list Judy of names. Says convinces her that yeah, there's so many agree on that subject at least, and B even seems to recognize that Judy is acting out of love for Sharon. Paul is spurred on to visit Vivian by a policeman calling at Wentworth to warn him he is in danger of having to forfeit the bail money if she is Every not actor in Australia soon. must have had a part. He tells Chrissy Some of them had several parts. agreement with Judy <laughs> and that part of the deal is that Chrissy stays away from And they're the also the same Lizzie people. and Dory go out and for a drink to celebrate like Louisa's that. change so. of heart and get thoroughly plastered. All 30 Australian tells Judy that Sharon will be in solitary for at no, least a week, not much longer, 
And no, it might be a little early for Kylie. Where she walks yeah. up to be and she punches was, her she in was the face to get into solitary. Neighbors, wasn't she? Paul lets yeah. himself Paul into Robinson, Vivian's house and finds her unconscious yeah, a very young an empty Paul bottle of pills. <laughs> I know Lizzie he is. And Dorian run out Everyone of money, so Lizzie I've seen some neighbours. Not much, but I've seen a bit of it. Over. She fakes an attack while Dorian puts a couple of bottles under her arms and walks out of the shop. <laughs> Unfortunately, a police patrol car pulls up opposite her, and the driver knows who she is. Oh, there you go. So uh, I, what, that was episode. That's what happened in episode one hundred. I thought it was all inside a prison, so I was surprised to hear so much going on outside. Um. Doreen and Lizzie uh, have just been released. So sometimes it follows the characters as they get released. So we can follow them into the off license, that sort of thing. Yeah. And sometimes it shows you someone uh, who's about to go to prison. Oh, yeah. So, you know, you know, like in Casualty, where the brilliant game is, guess how these people are going to hurt themselves. Oh, summon up a ladder with an electric drill or something, yeah. Yeah, it's similar to that. You can kind of watch this, and it's a new character, and you go, well, I wonder how this person is going to end up in prison. And they make it kind of easy who it's going to be, because it will normally be a couple, like it'll be a man and a woman, and you'll go, well, they're not going to follow the man's story, are they? So it's going to be specifically something that this yeah. woman does, normally killing her husband or something like that. Fair enough. Like, is it a, is it a um, serious crime prison or, or all sorts? It it really does vary. Um, you've got murderers in there, but you've also got people who are on remand for shoplifting. So all sorts. Yeah, it really does depend what kind of story they've got that week, and uh, what the writers are up to, and how often they can remember because the security of the prison. It seems to vary depending on what needs to happen. So if, if you want to escape, uh, you, you, you probably could. Loads of people have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I'm really up on the story after hearing that bit, but it, it might have helped a bit. Well, you, all, all you need to know is there's lots and lots of characters. Really. Yeah, I've, I've worked that bit out. Yeah, there's tons the, the, of them. the ones that mentioned, you've got Lizzie and Doreen in an off-licence, uh, Judy something or other about Sharon. Um, I think they mentioned other people. Caroline, who I can't even remember. I lost count of all the names. Yeah. This, I I've seen the, these episodes, and I can't remember who most of these people are. So, obviously, some stories don't uh, aren't as memorable as others. Okay, so are, are you ready, though? Are you ready to dive into I, I, can't, I can't wait to hear 101, yeah. Episode 101. Okay, so let me just dig the episode up and we can start watching Prison Cell Block H, episode 101. Why not watch along with us? It's the best way to enjoy our insightful analysis. There's a YouTube link in the episode blurb. Are you going to be okay? Of course I am, you silly bugger. Get the witch. So that's Lizzie on the floor and Doreen in the flowery dress. All oh, right. What's wrong, lady? Oh, she's she's uh, nicking some bottles for while... Yeah. Well, she's got a chance. Uh oh. It's the filth. Hello, Doreen. When not much of a police car, is it? It's not much of a budget, to be fair. <laughs> like a, a full container with one blue light on top. At least he had what was close to a police uniform. You remember yeah. Barry Nannis and Danger Phil? I couldn't sure stretch to a tie. It's, it's like a stripograms. Yeah, I remember. Police Doyle shot shirt. my mate. How come they let you out so soon? I got paroled. Where are you living now? The halfway house. It'd go easy to suffer far you could get you in trouble, you know. Oh, well, <laughs> I've been I've been celebrating with my it's, not, it's nice to know that they were allowed to ha just harass former Anyone prisoners on the street. Yeah. Oh, no. He's never had nothing to do with you blokes. Glad to hear it. <coughs> Take a deep breath. <coughs> Easy now. You got any brandy? Here, let me take this. Get your paws off me. I mean... 
I'll get me second wind in a minute, and I'll be out. Liz is essentially an old drunk. Yeah, I think she's. I think she's. Don't move. After I'll a pack, packet of Rothmans. <laughs> Fellas, give us a hand. I've got a woman inside who's... Well, just a minute, did you pay for those? Uh, I forgot I had them. I was going to pay for them, honest, but when that little old lady took a turn inside, I came out here for help. I believe her. Well, little old lady, you didn't mention anything about a little old lady before. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm convinced. Well, you scared me. Uh, and I'm not used to going to the cops for help. Look, I don't want anyone dying in a shop. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Doreen, She's my favourite so far. And it's me you ought to be taken in. I made her do it. She was a show favourite, Lizzie was. Yeah, she's very good. Oh, Lizzie. I knew it. The minute you two walked in, they robbed me. The oldest trick in the book and I <laughs> He knew it. He just helped her and uh, yeah. didn't, um, didn't believe what she said. Come on, both of you. Let's sort this out down at the station, OK? Come on, I'll take those, and we'll need your statement. My pleasure. Yeah, What's he want to buy him for? Too mean to give uh, an old lady a evidence, I presume. <laughs> Fingerprints. Also, police Christmas party. Yeah. There you are. They won't be too hard on us, door. Too lousy. A lot of them just left them on the table for them as well. Yeah, yeah. No talking. They sobered up yet? I think so, sir. Now, I think that door would kick down quite easily. This story straight, and I warn you both again that anything that Lizzie might struggle might with it. Used in evidence. There's not I much of it. I told you I was going to no. pay for them. A constable. Yes, sir. Were both these ladies searched when they were brought in? Yes, sir. And did either of them have any money on them? Well, Mrs. Birdsworth had 40 cents in her purse. We must have been robbed. Where was you lot when you... It's not going to work. Oh, fair gay door never had nothing to do with it. She couldn't talk away out of a paper bag. Yeah, well, regardless of whose idea it was, the owners are only pressing charges against Anderson. Can they put the rubber gloves on for the search? After hearing what I the hope not. I hope they haven't filmed that bit anyway. From what you've yeah. been telling us, Mrs. Birdsworth. Also, if you were inside a paper bag, to charge you both talking wouldn't be the best way of but escaping from it. I was boozed. <laughs> I never knew what I was saying. And Dor must have thought I had some money. Yeah, that's right. You thought I was going to pay, didn't you, Dor? Yeah, well, you can save that one for the magistrate and see if he'll believe you. You're both to appear in court on the morning of the 11th, and uh, your bail has been set at 40 cents, Mrs. Birdsworth. Oh, 40 cents? <laughs> can't you fix it for door, 20 cents each way? It's not that simple. <laughs> now, the I've got no clue about Australian money, so... ...is don't break the law. Doesn't sound much, does it? Bail no, I'm pretty cents. sure that's not much You'll anyway. You'll be remanded but... in Wentworth's detention centre. Occasionally you'll hear about people having, like, $10,000. Well, and you, know. you go, is that a lot? <laughs> is, is that like 50 quid? I suppose in the 80s it would have been worth a lot more anyway than now. Lights out in half an hour. Oh, Mr Fletcher, how, how long will Judy be in solitary? Well, that's up to the governor or the VJ. But I'll see to it that she's moved from this cell, if that'll make you happier. That's I Jim get Fletcher. Off. You saw how Jim Fletcher. Well, she's Jim not Fletcher. Me. Nice At to get half hour warning before he turns the lights off. So what is it with you? Well, it's a prison. Every you time know. I try to help you, you treat me as though I'm Anywhere else you get an hour. I'm grateful you helped my mother, but I just wish you'd leave me alone. Listen, I happen to believe in you. <clears throat> now, I don't think you belong here. Well, she's stood right in front no, of you. That's a crime, is it, to watch you out of this place? <laughs> if I didn't accept bail from Michael, I'm certainly not going to accept it from you. Oh, I, I, think, her, to be in I think her and her mum murdered I'll leave that sort of emotional her dad, husband. I think. Then why are you so interested in what happens to me? I told you why. I don't believe you. I seem, to call, her, I seem to recall her mum being a pain in the ass. I remember that. Her mum. I'd like to get the name. Yeah. I think he's got the script on that on that clipboard. The people are human beings, not animals. Good night, Mr. Simpson. You've got to keep a script somewhere, haven't you? It's not like you can go around learning the all the lines. I mean, I don't know how long I'm going to be in here, but. It's Judy. 
If you like, I'm sure I can arrange to have the same time, huh? Isn't that echo? It must be a massive cell. Sharon, I, I know how lonely you get on your own. And... I mean, I when they the later pub, on, right? when they wheel that bed out, it will become the pub. Sharon? Yeah, it sounds like she's in a cave. Sharon! Yeah, I'm listening. <laughs> Aren't you going to say something? What do you want me to say? Gee, thanks, dude. Thanks for getting yourself thrown in the pound, just for me. Well, you can take a flying jump for all I care. I've got a week in here because of you and another hanging over my head. So if you want me to talk to you, you could, you could just go to hell. In about 500 episodes, Sharon comes back, or the act of playing Sharon Look, comes back as a prison guard. I didn't set huh. you up, Sharon. Pat O'Connell did. Oh. Now, it's true. I mean, B would have put her up to it. I'm telling you, I saw her plant them. I'm assuming her career didn't well, go as I planned if she ended up coming back 500 episodes Maybe later. I could have hit anybody to get in here, but I chose B to get back in her for what she I did. I don't know, that's do. like five you years. Bitch. So she might have been in another show for five years. You I suppose so. Yeah. Bitch. Well, why didn't you tell the Or on the doll that? for five years. We don't know. Yeah. Hi. She got, she got killed I in had this. To separate you so and Chrissy. She couldn't hang around in, unless the they brought way. her in as a ghost. Yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't have been that I outlandish if they'd done that. You wait. I'll get you for this. I wouldn't lean on I that wall too hot. I hate you, hot. you big <laughs> stupid cow. I hate you. Not, things aren't going well Thanks for Judy. Thanks for all you've done, Tony. I couldn't have gone through all that by myself. Any time, you know that. Who the hell are these? No idea. <laughs> nice green armchair. You hadn't have been there. Uh, they'll be all right. They didn't seem to think much of Bill, though, did they? I mean, not just... I have no recollection of trouble. these people. No, well, they think he led me astray when we got busted with the drugs. Don't see many green well, leather armchairs. Yeah, you you we don't see many uh, colours in this show, to be quite honest. <laughs> Say... Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, That's... I'm late. I had a bit of an emergency. Paul, it's Paul That's Reed's right. uh, son. Uh, okay. All, All right. right. Why not? That's Paul Reed in his. He generally wears three different shades of brown all the time. <laughs> and plays pocket billiards quite a lot. Does he? Yeah. We noticed this on an episode he was in before. <laughs> He's got the script there again. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Well, you've got to say, there's quite a lot in it. <laughs> Would it be all right if Sally stayed a couple of days extra? It's, well, just that, you know, her parents weren't too keen on her being pregnant. And, uh, well, she doesn't want to go back yeah, to well, I was wondering what this drink business was all about. You don't have to get me sloshed to say yes, you know. And she can stay. You're the one sleeping on the couch, mate. Paul Reed, Thanks, unsloshed. <laughs> her, um, her family doctor made the appointment at the clinic. And she's having the operation tomorrow. Oh. She just needs a bit of support, that's all. Yes, yes. No worries. So off the top of my head, thanks I can't remember drink. what happens Love to these two to characters. Good night, and thanks again. Good night, sir. Not much, I don't suppose. So no. what was this emergency but, about? Like I say, Nearly 700 episodes. Oh, so many characters. Well, you're not going to remember what happened to Fair all of them. Fair enough. Uh, no. It was an attempted suicide. One of the women out on bail. Uh, uh, just a minute. Have you done your assignments? Of course I have. Oh, uh, well, Sally did stand over me a bit. <laughs> if I tried that, yeah, I'd the, be the, the, the main colours you see are Maybe in the she prison. Move in here you'll see uh, blue no, and grey. <laughs> Outside the prison, you'll probably see brown and green. That's the four colours, mostly. Is it his desk green? Yeah, the th you There's see, because the, these aren't prisoners, so they're I'll allowed beige <laughs> and green. There are a few reports that need doing. As soon as you go inside In the cells, it's all grey, blue uniforms. And what exactly do you think that'll achieve? It might prove to yeah, the department you, you that expect, men shouldn't be working a lot of in a female and blue prison. In prison but if and when you get the it's all the green that surprises me. I'll hand the deputy yeah, governorship over to you. Yeah, this episode's a lot greener than I remember. Excuse me, got another guest for you. Well, come on, she had goggles on her head. <laughs> I'll take the charge sheet. I'll take it. You know the procedure, Anderson. 
Well, you lasted longer than I expected. But I knew you'd manage to find your way back here somehow. Procedure what? Anderson, is that her nickname? I only took two bottles of grog. <laughs> you address all officers by name. Surely it is, what, it is a nickname you'd always have to explain how you got it, wouldn't you? I'll be yeah. able to handle this. Thank you, Mr Fletcher. Just see she's put in a cell with somebody. Um, yes, the, I know where we can put you. The nasty prison in guard there really is Vera. To see you back. This one. Yeah. That's she's Vera, nice and, but she's commonly known as Vinegar Tits, which is her nickname. I don't want to wake anyone up. You better get used to being in a dormitory, Anderson. That little escapade mightn't have seemed much to you, but you broke parole. I'd say there's every chance that you'll be serving the rest of your sentence. Mm. Thought you might like to meet your new cellmate, Smith. These cell doors don't look very much, do they? What the bloody hell are you doing here? You've got ten minutes to settle in, Anderson. I'm My sure bathroom it won't doors. take you that long to tell More them substantial why you than that. <laughs> For God's sake, you silly little idiot. What have you gone and done? I'll give her a chance, B. I'll give her exactly one minute before I thump the living daylights out of her. Oh, everything was going OK and we were celebrating and the cops didn't know what we'd done and they were going to let me go, but Lizzie thought they were arresting me and they weren't. Anyway, she came and put her foot right in it. And everything well, she's was brilliant. really good. Then it all went wrong. I'm just a... Good for nothing, stupid old cow, and I ought to be locked up in a hole in the ground. She was doing all right till I came along. Do you reckon they'll lock me up? After serving so much time for something you didn't do? No, they'll probably just find you, that's all. Well, what do you I, reckon? I, uh, Lizzie did uh, 20 years inside for a murder she, she didn't parole. commit. Yeah. That's annoying, isn't it? I'll never be able to live with myself if they put her away for something. You'd, you'd be like quite I annoyed did. and bitter, yeah. I think. If you yeah, would. yeah. Her life. You would. And all because I can't. Whereas lay off Lizzie just gave all her money away and minutes. ended up back in prison again. Well, that <laughs> does it. I'm not going to touch another drop. Never, ever. Never. <laughs> and I can rot in hell if I go back on my word. What am I going to tell Kev? Look. You go to court the day after tomorrow. They mightn't do anything to her. Yeah, and he doesn't have to find out if she gets off. Well, and I'm gonna see to it that she does get off. How are you going to do that? I don't know, but I'll do something. You just wait. It's good to have a plan, isn't it? Yeah. What's your plan? Don't know. It's quite a quite a variety of acting ability. Don't do to me, Sharon. Yeah, there's there's you some. I can't stand it when you go I think silent on me. It often gets criticised the acting in the show, How but many times I, have to I say think I'm it's sorry. generally good, and it's just that the bad ones just tend to stick out a little bit because of that. They never yeah. happened. There's a couple that really go for it, and a couple I mean, that don't, don't give a fuck. Yeah. How can you love somebody? Spend all that time. Some of them are absolutely just atrocious, but that, happened. like a lot of the bit part. Oh, like um, Paul Sharon. Reed's son, who we saw earlier. He's I dreadful. That, I know that the only reason that you turned to Chrissy <laughs> But I don't think he's in it that much. You needed someone to look after you. You know, make a fuss over you. I mean, so, some are bad actors, some, but some... Well, I was did well, that, I'm enjoying it. It looks like they're not even going to put in the effort. <laughs> oh, why you, won't you answer me? You mean they're naturals. That's what you mean by that. <laughs> yeah. They don't Sharon. have to try. It must be that, it's yeah. It's my child a day, damn you! What's I will not go and face that knowing I have nothing to come I don't know. back to. It's, but it's obviously brown. It is brown, very brown. It, 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 I think it's, it's too brown. It's crime to get in prison yeah. for you. It's all been for you. It's always been for you. Don't you Ju care? Judy must have just arrived then. Oh. She's, she's wearing her own clothes, so she's on remand. Oh, that's why she hasn't got the blue thing on. Yeah. But I think she got arrested trying to smuggle drugs into Sharon. I want to see the governor. What about? Something the narcotics squad should be very interested in. I'll let her know. Come on, O'Connell. I heard you're the one who set me up. You were getting too smart for your own good. When I get out of here, I'd watch it. What do you think the narcotics squad would be interested in? Too. UFOs? I've been inside too long for a little girl <laughs> like you to scare me. Now, be a good girl and eat your breakfast. O'Connell? Come it's in. just the name of the squad. They do, they generally do admin. <laughs> the narcs. That's what they want him to be called. 
Hello, Dad. Look, I, I won't keep you long, but, um, look, I don't want Sally to go to the clinic by herself today, so can I borrow the car? Well, isn't there somebody else who can take her, a girlfriend or something? Well, listen, I'll, I'll bet his hand's in his pocket. Your responsibility, mate. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it might be. Come in. Whoa! See that sweeping nice camera thing. move? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't do much of that. Uh, yeah, that'll be okay. I'll leave the keys for you at the front gate. I think the cameraman Dad. must have been on roller skates. You sure he didn't mind? <laughs> no way. You know, it's funny, but ever since you came here, he and I have been getting on much better. But I, I remember there's there's one scene. I think it's a bit later Hello. in the series where they use a a, um, a dolly for a tracking shot. Oh yeah. Hello. Right. And really the reason you, it's quite noticeable is you can hear the wheels <laughs> squeaking. <laughs> Must be women's lib or something. Women's lib. Okay, when I saw her last. But in my opinion, she should have somebody with her all the time. It's not too late to organise both. You know that. No. I can't understand why you're being so adamant about this. It can't be all pride. It's a proper 1980 hairstyle she's got there, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm sure that's the last thing he would want. He was hoping that you wouldn't find out where the money was coming from. That's why I agreed to go surety on his behalf. All right, I'll talk to Mrs. Davidson, see if we can't arrange for you to visit your mother. I think Paul Reed's official title is <sighs> you're, you're social sure worker. Thank you. I think. He's a social worker. I'm quite sure. I think so. Is that why general that general pro problem solver? Is that why he's got that painting of horses on his wall? I, I think that that comes with the official title of uh, Sorry, social dear, worker. Why don't you tell me it was my fault? Pardon? Well, if I let you pay my bail, I would have been. It's like being a VIP hand, and right? getting a special hat, really. Look, let's just forget about yeah. it, okay? Mr. Fletcher. It's it's just that I don't know who to trust anymore. Well, isn't about time. You <laughs> I, I, I do I do enjoy it when they walk don't away and suddenly they're not lit. <laughs> yeah. You weren't interrupting anything, Miss Bennett. There's sometimes whole scenes that take place in the What's dark. What's he been saying to you? All the scenes are really short, aren't they? It jumps about a lot. Rights, you know. Well, you he's heard the recap. There was just the jobby, the so many told. different no, bits. No, there was probably one sentence in that for each hand, scene. If you think you'll be getting it easier in here by getting friendly with a male officer, you'd better think again. If you're caught, it can go just as badly on the inmate as it, it must can be the difficult officer. not to get these, these, some of these That's scenes a in the, the wrong order. Thing to say. I'll be keeping my eye on you. And would you notice if they just did? Just remember that. Some, sometimes it's the, back, the, the background characters will be in two role? places at once. You had some money from your mother's will, a nice bloke to marry you, and you went and blew the loss. V. Look, look, Sharon's got something to tell the narcotics people. You think it could be about me planting those pills on Oh, no way. Look, if she wanted to lag, she'd just tell the governor. It must be something else. Oh, she's going to be trouble when she gets out of the pound. Yeah, well, it's Bryant I'm interested in. Oh, well, lagging is so she could get near Sharon. Well, she grassing, essentially. Oh, is it? Teacher. Yeah. <laughs> O'Connell, aren't you supposed to be working in the kitchen? Well, yes, Miss Bennett. I just brought some clean clothes for Doreen. Oh, Miss Bennett, I've read what? your report. Why would she have Doreen's clean clothes? I, think we I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe the chef. Doreen's just, Doreen, Doreen just got there from direct from the police Anderson. cell. She doesn't have <laughs> Why would she have anything that wasn't what she was wearing? We'll bring it to I don't, that makes no sense. Please, Miss there you go. A beige and brown look there for Miss uh, Erickson. Foolish things in the, past, the showers were a bit nicer than I was expecting. But this, it was not only foolish, it was absolutely thoughtless. When I recommended your parole, it was because I believed in you. You had your mother's support, all the help you could possibly need from the halfway house, Everyone was assisting you. Do you want to contact anyone? What about your fiance? Oh no. Kevin mustn't find out what I've done. Well, he's bound to find out sooner or later. He can't. Because his mother will break us up if he doesn't wipe me first. Anyhow, I might get off tomorrow. Lizzie will tell him what happened. And they've got to believe that I never meant to break my parole. I swear I'll never do it again. And then I can just tell Kevin that I've been visiting friends for a couple of days. Kevin's mum sounds Everything terrible. Will be all right, won't it? 
I'm trying to. Oh, I'm trying to remember if Kevin's mum's an actual character. Six months ago, to me. It might have just someone who gets mentioned. And I never meant to yeah, anyone, like yeah. Um, uh, Captain Manorin's wife. Not Kevin. Yeah. Or you. Or Mrs. Columbo. I yeah. was trying, I promise. Oh, just no good. <laughs> That's it. That. She needs, she needs oh, a hug. Yeah, hey, that wasn't bad acting from Doreen. That's quite good. No, not bad. There's another green chair. <laughs> yeah. And, and some and some green uh, bottles, you know, there's plenty going on. Oh my God, look at those trousers. Good day. <laughs> what do you want? I want to talk to you about door. About what? That poor little kid that you just had put back inside. Poor little... And if you don't hey, tell the cops that you made a mistake... Get out of my shop. You want to know something? I just got out after serving 20 years for murder. And I met a lot of toughies in there. Most of them are out now. So if you don't do like I say... If you're not out of here within two seconds, I'm calling the police. This time, they might put you back where you belong. Yeah, they might. <laughs> but I'd better make sure. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? She, she was like an old, um, respected uh, actor. Yeah. You could tell. And... Um, She's really dropped down like five social classes to play that role. Yeah, you can tell she's got real uh, ability. Lousy luck. How they expect anyone to learn a lesson when they let people off the hook? Come on, Mrs. Birdsworth, you should be grateful. Sniveling. I think she's, I think she's gone method. All he was worried about is getting paid for it's his quite, It's quite smoke. possible. I have suspected that she's pissed in quite a lot of these episodes. <laughs> You've got one charge against you. Hey, if I didn't pay for them bottles, they'd have to lock me up, wouldn't they? Look, getting arrested isn't going to help your friend. Could even have an effect on her trial. How's that? Well, oh, they mightn't be too happy. She acts like she's on the stage no, trying to uh, company with a dangerous make sure the back row can uh, yeah. see and hear her. Projection. Yeah, plenty of it. After I've seen Bryant, I would like to do an inspection of H block. She, re she reading that as well. Security gates Another script. <laughs> I admit it's been a bit more peaceful. That one's in but big that's print. Because of tighter security. Yeah. If we slacken off now, it'd be asking for trouble. We shall see. Yes. Two gentlemen from the narcotics branch are here, Bryant. They want to ask you a few questions. Brown, your Brown and beige what versus. Beige and brown. Yeah. That Gilmore is making a statement now. Is that a picture of the Queen After on the what wall? What she told me, I thought it necessary to call them in. Uh, yeah, Aussie, isn't that it? She was not so, telling the whole yeah. truth at her trial. That you were the one behind trafficking in drugs, and that you forced her to deliver them. And you believed her? It's not true. I mean, I never had anything to do with it. I am merely explaining what has been said. Well, it's not true. I mean, she's a born liar. That's enough of that, Bryant. Look, she even tried to involve that other fellow, you know, Reed, Tony Reed. She said she did that because she was covering for you. Well, it's not true. Well, you admitted to smuggling drugs into the prison. Yeah, well, at the time I wanted to get in here. I mean, when Sharon was sentenced, I had to do something to be near her. I mean, was it? I think it was the director's first yes. day. <laughs> I'll send her straight away. They're ready for you. The longer I work here, the less I understand about human nature. That's because they're sick. We're not dealing with normal people. They're not normal Vera, people. Vera is a bit of a bitch. Yeah, it looks like it. Heard you got engaged? Yeah. What's your fellow like then? Oh, he's nice. Real Big nice. Cock. That the ring? Do they ever have a laugh? So uh, and, and, you know, is it all, always so serious? Have a look at it. <clears throat> you have to get married or something? No. Yeah, they're a kind of oh, more light-hearted well, you're just jealous because you but never got engaged. A lot of the humour is to be had from I mean, the, I could get any bloke I wanted from the show to marry him. itself. Yeah. Give it back, Unintentional. God. Yeah. It looks like you've got yourself a real big spin. But sometimes you know, when they try to be funny, they are. So it does have that. Or it's just it most of the time there are some laughable Up things. Yeah. Storylines or acting or sets or <laughs> you don't measure direction up or production Big values. Clobbered by a newcomer. Yeah. You've you see lost that. your sting. We'll see about that. 
What was that the Gov said? You get into strife and you'll end up in isolation, wasn't it? Well, it nearly finished you the last time. Uh, B. Smith is top think, dog take at the prison. In there? Is that her there? That'd be worth it yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. Now, you oh. were friends. Oh. Don't you ever learn? She clobbered me for no reason, Mrs. Davidson. That's not true. Shut up, Dory. But, by the way, convenient talking. walking past the cell, the it happens countless times. <laughs> She has got a violent streak, that one. Miss Bennett, I'm sure you can oh, find yeah, something B. for Smith and Latham to do. She's in for murder, down. so... With pleasure. Oh, well. Outside. Mrs Davidson, when can I visit the baby? From what I've seen, you're not exactly showing you deserve any... Apparently she was in Howard's Please, way, Mrs. the one on the left. Well, was she? You let Caroline Apparently so. I've been told by uh, Howard's way fan. I've never seen that either. See no, nor have I. Thanks. It's an 80s show about boats, wasn't it, or something? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. You know, you really shouldn't have that ring, Doreen. Oh, Mrs. Davidson, I've got it, keep it. Please. All right, but be very careful. <laughs> careful with your ring. <laughs> it's, com it's completely against prison uh, procedure for them to be allowed to have jewellery. But because Doreen asked nicely, she's allowed yeah. <laughs> Kevin is engaged to Doreen. All right. Oh, good That's the teddy bear cupboard. <laughs> I, I, I love the fact that I shot just, just la stayed on an empty shot. room for, a, for, for like yeah. five seconds. Oh, we'll tell her I'll see yeah. then. We'll go to a movie or something. Oh, you can't do that. We're giving her a party. I thought the door might open and the teddy bear walk out by itself. Oh, that should make a switch. Well, it, it oh, would have been something, wouldn't it? told me, that's all. Oh, well, you see, we're springing this, aren't we? Uh, it's the TV and equivalent of dead air. Room, so, uh, yeah, OK, yeah. I'm going, I'm going. But tell her I'll see her tomorrow, OK, if she can spare the time. Yeah. OK. It would have been quite good if she put the, a small teddy in there and then a, 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 a life-sized teddy just walked out of the door. Oh, hi, yeah. G'day. Jesus, what's he looking like? I heard Sally could have been here. It was just a matter of ringing till she answered the phone to be sure. Quite a so beard there he's got. The this morning. It is, isn't the it? It's just it, it's the, the Australian you know DLT. Her back with me where she yeah. belongs. Without the kid, of course. In but looks only, I hope. Care of that. <laughs> yeah. If she doesn't want anything more to do with you, mate. Where do you fit into the picture, mate? You're too young for a girl like Sally. You're just doing the good Samaritan bit, eh? Like father, like son. Just get out of here. What if I don't? You gonna try mm. kicking me out? Oh, no, build no trouble, please. Tony looks a bit like a, you know, a Paul Seems Nicholas. So nice. Uh, 70s Paul it's Nicholas. Awesome. It does a bit, yeah. Dancing you with the captain. Kid. Yeah, reggae like it used to be. Yeah. That era. And all his other dreadful songs. He did a few TV shows, didn't he? I, w I wouldn't have known who he was until he did Just Good Friends in the 80s. I could have handled it. Yeah. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You wouldn't have gone back to him, would you, Sal? Look, I just want to get this whole thing over and done with. Oh, I'm sorry. I... 1980, smoking while pregnant. Is all that. I mean, Fair enough. They said you'd be out in two or three hours. You know, I I'd do anything for you, don't you, Sal? Oh, Tony. Come on. We better get going. <laughs> Pushing her out, though. Yeah. <laughs> now, B, shouldn't you have some of the others doing that? No, no, Vinegar's keeping tabs on me. Well, do you want a hand? Cause after oh, is that Vinegar tits? Fault, vinegar trouble. tits, yeah. Oh, me and Chrissy were headed for a scrap anyhow. They generally call her Vera through her face as well. All the, all the other screws get like really Mrs. Mrs. Jackson right and stuff everyone. like that, but she always just gets called Vera. <laughs> hmm. You've been having it real tough since Lizzie and me got out, haven't you, B? It just takes a while to break in the new recruits, that's all. Yeah, but we know you're still the boss. Now, on Haven't you got a thing why, about cleaning the top of that wall? Old devil, <laughs> Not that I'm glad to see you back in here. I don't know why I waste my breath talking to you two. You're supposed to be doing that, Smith. 
Ah, uh, yeah, well, it's a smoker, Mr. Jackson. You need regulations? I can give you some more regulations if you like. That's Meg Lizzie's Jackson. Here to see you, oh. She well, tell her I'm lasted the entire That's no run. Treat Lizzie. Yeah, I know, but, but if she just kept her silly mouth shut. Yeah, she was oh, in it from episode always. one to she episode six to nine two. She's brought some things in for you. Huh. You want me to tell her to take them back? Can't say I'd blame her if she wouldn't want nothing to do with me. I hope that teddy bear's full of drugs. You always said I was stupid, Miss Bennett, and you was right. Or a hacksaw. I should never have been allowed outside. Rotten to the bone. I think it might just be Will Doreen's teddy there, because <laughs> she's like incredibly times, childlike me what to and do, stupid. Oh, is she? When the writers remember that she has to be childlike and stupid. <laughs> and when I do. I bugger it up. I've taken the pledge, you know, Miss Bennett. We should get together sometimes and have a yarn about the good old days. Will you be quiet? Oh, Miss Bennett, the you pledge wouldn't. and the windling. Oh, don't be stupid, Birdsworth. Come on, Lizzie. You mean she'll see me? Mm -hmm. huh? I'm sure a teddy bear gets cut up as it's brought in. At some I point. always said you was all right, Miss Bennett. I think someone should look inside it. Yeah, you'd, you'd assume, regardless, you'd have yeah. to check something like that that got bought. Good idea. Yeah. But security isn't one Hello, of their priorities here. <laughs> you mean you're not crook on me? Oh, no, I reckon it's about time I faced up to my own mistakes. This is a prison someone escaped from I'll by putting a hat on. Stuffing. Oh, I can believe it. I tried to talk some sense into that coot down the bottle shop, but he wouldn't listen. Kevin came round. I covered up for you. He's coming around to my... Meg standing at the back doing nothing in these scenes is uh, is a theme we've noticed well, he's got while a doing these. What? She essentially to. just does prison much. admin as well as act. Well, and you can tell mainly him prison admin. Want to see me, that I'll understand and that I'm sorry and that I, you know. But she's got to get off, and she, Mrs. Jackson. I don't know. But she's got to get up. Dawn never did nothing. She does speak occasionally. Oh, God, Dawn, what are we going to do? I mean, she, she stands there for the whole scene and all she gets is, I don't know. Now, as a, you as a sign the book. <laughs> and Doreen, you sign the property book, please. I'm going to make a fortune on the Gigi's. I didn't get a chance to back whiskey a go-go today. I'd go and see that rotten mongrel in the bottle shop. I bet the bloody thing wins too. I'm not going till I see Sharon Gilmore. You will do as you're told. I have to see her before I go. Will we ever find out whether Whiskey or Go Go wins the race? There's so many unanswered questions. Where are you going, Lizzie? How long are these episodes? She's more worried about Gilmore. They're, 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 they're a TV hour, well, so like she went 40 minutes. Oh, right. That serves her right. All right, come on, Doreen. Just a minute. Did you see Birdsworth leave the building? No, why? She wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised at anything she does. All right, Anderson, what's she up to? Oh, I don't know, Miss Bennett. I've never seen a thing. Officer Knox, take Anderson back to her cell. Officer Knox. Gate yeah, it would be great if someone had knocked on the door then, wouldn't it? Yeah. It, the script well, writers missed the trick. They did, it certainly did. Is she going to see B? Oh, no. I, I do want to... Um, I'm going to do a... a a special on the uh, incidental music from the show <laughs> because there's not something much. just yeah but also there's something not quite right about it no this is like a spy chasing like sneaking around in a uh, yeah, it makes no sense and, does it and yeah someone's evil lair yeah. this is David's yes been looking for Birdsworth everywhere. I was told you knew where she was. Oh, must have slipped me mind. I could have Come on, Birdsworth. This time I'll make sure that at least you reach the gates. We haven't quite finished yet, thank you, Miss Bennett. It was nice of you to worry about me, Miss Bennett. That'll be the day. 
think Vera was in oh, Home and Away. On, I think. Oh, she? Yeah, I think for quite a while. A judge. He must have taught you a few lurks. Not that I can remember, Lizzie. If Dor gets put away again and I'm not... I don't want to be out there on my own. Oh, don't talk nonsense. Selfish cow. I've been mm. here since this place was built. I know every brick. You're the boss, Mrs. Davidson. I wouldn't take up much room. Well, you've settled into the halfway <laughs> house now, Lizzie. She but loves I it. can't stay there forever. She's going to go and live in a prison. Haven't you made other plans? <laughs> I was going to move in with Dora and Kev after they were married. Well, you'll have some money soon. You could buy a place of your own. What good's a house of me own? I could be dead for months and no one would miss me. They're like it's a female to Albert Steptoe. <laughs> All my friends are in here. Yeah. Well, I, I, I haven't thought of it like that before, but now I can't unthink of it. Tommy <laughs> hasn't been sentenced yet. I don't know what's going to happen when Kiff finds out. He'll probably wipe us both. Dawn needs him, Mrs. Davidson. He's the probably, first probably decent wipe fellow them that's both. ever been any good yeah. to her. I don't know what I mean by wipe. No. Must now be an Australian term. And, and also right. a a clinic called the Fisher Clinic go for a drink or suggests that <laughs> it might oh, be a different mind. sort of operation going on in there. Yeah. Oh, look at that car. And there's oh, another one the same colour right in front. Yeah. Falling on over himself. How wet can you get? I'm being followed. Oh, this is great music this time. <laughs> oh, it's short. I love the music. It's amazing. Whatever happens tomorrow, don't try to elaborate. Just tell the truth and I'm sure the magistrate will be fair. So I'm not saying... It's cheaper to buy horrible coloured cars yeah, for a TV right. What's show going on? What do you mean? than normal coloured cars. But on all the ones in this so far have been like lemon coloured, and these were like orange, dark green, that limey coloured one. Yeah. It was my doing. She hasn't done anything that you could blame her for. Lizzie! She's been arrested, Kev. He's another one for the shit Excuse actor me. list, isn't he? You must be careful. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Erica Davidson, the governor of Wentworth's detention centre. So Doreen is back inside? Yes, I'm afraid so. Yeah, and if a lady like Mrs Davidson can stick by a door when things get a bit shaky, I don't see why you can't. I think we should go inside and discuss this calmly. Lizzie. I like how she's just accusing him of stuff he might Mrs. not Davidson. actually do. Excuse me, are you really the governor of a jail? Yes, and a friend of Lizzie and Doreen's. Very posh, isn't she, that one? Yeah. Yeah, but what if she does have to go back? Oh, well, six months isn't a lifetime. Green tablecloth? Of course it isn't. Oh, yeah. Now, if you had to wait... Green walls. Green walls. The cupboards are like green as well. I know it isn't easy on family and friends, but believe me, it's far worse for the women inside. I've seen too many of them rejected. Yeah, she only got carried away because she was so happy she was marrying you. Doreen has been <laughs> institutionalised most of her adult life. She thought that was the only thing she could expect. But you've given her something else, Kevin. A future. Yeah, well, I should have my own business going in about six months, so... I need more money in the bank. Better start for us both. I knew you'd come good. Thanks, Lizzie. And I'm going to move right away from her. Dora and myself could never keep out of trouble when we were together. I'm going to get right out of your hair. Yeah, you bet you will. Because I'm going to keep an eye on both of you. We're not going to let you out of our sight. Right. Well, well, why I would a newly go. married Goodbye. couple want Could I Lizzie to live with them? <laughs> Makes yeah, no me. sense whatsoever. His acting's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> Drinking and smoking, but <laughs> 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 it was good for you in those days. Oh bloody hell! Yeah. You sure you're old enough to be drinking? Two beardy men. Is that the same DLT as earlier? I think it is. I think one of them is. Join us, Sally. We can go over old times. Will you leave us alone? 
Oh, so it's us now, is it? You decided to like him younger well, One's days, DLT, yeah. one's Peter Sutcliffe. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you shut up? The oh. kid can speak for himself. What do you know? Tony, let's go. He's not worth it. Hey! He's not worth it. That's right, little boy. Do what mummy tells you to do. Tony, no! Have it's a, a fight. Go. Have a go. What's the matter, Goldilocks? <laughs> What's stopping you? Not as tough as you thought, eh? Tony, let's go, please. Yeah, yeah, run along, Junior, before you get yourself hurt. Ah, uh, surprise attack. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. He How do you manage that? He flew, didn't he? <laughs> Bruce Lee would have struggled to do that. It, it, he absolutely flew. I mean, you, you'd expect you'd have to bounce on like a trampoline Judith or something Francis to get Bryant, that velocity. Been to one year yeah, I've got a feeling it might have been a dummy. Having been found guilty of trafficking and drugs. Is that correct? Yes. Yes what? Yeah, I'm guilty. You better learn a few manners, Bryant. You wanted to be here, so you'll learn to play the game our way. Is that clear? Yeah. Now I want you to go behind yep. the screen and change into these. You'll be sorry to hear that Sharon's evidence didn't hold up in court. They only got on me what I wanted them to get. Then you're a fool. Oh, hadn't you noticed that your little friend doesn't care what happens to you? You don't know anything about that. She made that statement to get out of another week in solitary. That's not much in exchange for a very close friendship, is it? It wasn't necessary, Vera. Meg's meant to be the nice guard. Oh, she. You see, there was that sweeping camera move again. Yeah. I don't. I don't recall that happening very often. So I wonder if this director was just getting a bit excited. I might got a bit of new equipment. Yeah, or had too much fizzy pop. Yeah. We'll take that back to the storeroom. Yeah, but I can't get through the security gate. Can you let me through, please? You've got two and a half minutes, Brandt. Now, if you see Sharon, you tell her she's welcome to you. Oh, tell very much. She put her arm out. There, there was no possible way around it. Well, good day. No. Oh, no, you don't. There's one thing you've about me, Bryant. I don't like being hit in the face. Oh, uh, is this the murderer again? That's, that's B. Yeah. But Judy had it, did have a go at her. Do you understand? He's got a violent streak, this one. Oh, definitely. You don't, you don't, you don't mess with the top dog. Finished this ages no. ago, Smith. Well, if a job's worth doing properly, how did this happen to you, Brand? It's an accident. Leaky pipes. All I know is I want to be with you. You know. She pissed herself. Look, I don't care if it takes six months or a week. I'm going to be waiting for you. Pissed herself on her head somehow. Well, what are you going to hmm. tell your mum? Oh, I can take care of her. I'll just tell her the... Well, no, Bugger, I'll tell her the truth. You know, it's our life, not hers. She can like it or lump it. I'm not going to let you down, you know? He's so fucking I'm wet. not going to marry you, Kevin. What are you talking about? It's dramatic well, it's music. It's not that I don't love you. Well, it's a very dramatic scene. It's the trouble it is. I do. Meg at the back and there. I do it. Yep. They could replace it with, with a, with a hat stand. Is? Everything I do. I reckon they thought, well, we're well, paying her. Okay she may as well. While, she may as well do something. It always goes wrong. <laughs> I tried to change, but I can't. Don't talk rubbish, story. I've got to say what I feel, Kevin. I've been listening to a lot of people, and I've been doing a lot of thinking on my own. And I know what's right. Sooner or later, I always muck it up. Ah, oh, right. She was literally defeated. she was literally allowed to keep the ring just yeah, so, so they could have that dramatic scene. Yeah. He's left it there. Someone will have that, there's thieves everywhere. And, and a massive zoom in. There you go. Oh, and it's the it's the theme music without the without the lyrics, which is the worst one. Oh, there's both, is there? Yeah. I'm not quite sure what constituted which one they played either. The theme sung by Lynn Hamilton, but oh, she's, she's not there. It's an instrumental, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, script editor Ian Smith, there. Ian, Ian Smith Costello. played. 
Ian Smith played um, Harold Bishop on Neighbours. Oh, yeah, I know you mean. Sometimes you get credits for Travel Lodge. And also Hair by someone or other. There's a list of people that are all to blame. Hair by Gilbert Broadway. Oh, I must have, this must have been before they went with Travel Lodge. Grace Brothers, wasn't that Are You Being Served? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm still, we're still in 1970. This is still year one. Bloody hell. So this is episode 101 that they'd filmed in, in their first year. And that was 1979. Yeah. I mean, fair play. Yeah. Quite a lot bad. Quite a lot of episodes to do. It, I mean, maybe it could be argued that there are some issues with the writing and production and direction and stuff like that because they're trying to do 100 episodes in a year. Yeah, if you're going to, if it is, yes. I mean, they haven't got probably got the budget of Coronation Street. They've probably got the budget. Well, if you're doing two episodes a week as well, which is two hours of telly, which is the same as Coronation Street, they do they have three or four episodes a week? About, I think it's three, yeah, I think. Yeah, right, so they're doing an hour and a half of telly. So they're doing two hours compared to that. And... Yeah. I've never watched Carnation Street. Is there more action involved in Carnation well, Street? Not than in seen it for year, not seen it for years. No. Anyway, that was episode uh, 101. What do you think happens in episode 102? I'm not sure what happened in, in 101. <laughs> well, you saw the heartbreaking scene between Dor and uh, whatever wet blanket was called, Kevin. Kevin, yeah, I think Kevin will kill himself. Okay. There have been I, there have been several suicides in the show, so it could be one of those. Yeah, I think Kevin's going to be heartbroken and then kill himself. What about someone's Lizzie? Gonna, what, what, someone's going to someone's going to steal that ring off the table. Yeah, you'd think it'd be secure in a prison, wouldn't you? But yeah, someone's going to have that. Someone will swap it for for Rothmans or Benson yeah. Edges. What about Lizzie? What's going to become of Lizzie? Lizzie, um, she was the um... drunk old woman. Drunk old woman, yeah. I think she'll just carry on being a drunk old woman and uh, and, and being the best actor in it. No, spo- no spoilers, but she does for about another 300 episodes. <laughs> yeah, she looked like she was setting her ways. Oh, yeah, there was, she wasn't a change. She'd been in prison for 20 years, there's no benefit in changing her now. No, so, she, seems, uh, she seems to have been uh, institutionalized. I think, she, I think she's happier in prison than anywhere else. And what about the boring subplots? Uh, there was Paul Reed's, um. Son and his girlfriend, who was trying to get an abortion, but isn't even his girlfriend. I don't think um, there was that storyline. Thinking, thinking back, um, uh, I, I remember that green armchair more than I do most of the people. <laughs> Paul Reed, green armchair owner. Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed the armchair. I never seen one like it before. There was um, Judy and Sharon, obviously. Um, they didn't really cover their story much. It was just more the aftermath of it, wasn't it? Yeah. So uh, B having a go at Judy, sticking her head down the sink. Um, <clears throat> that oh, was yeah. about it. There B, weren't B, many, many stories this week. B is quite a good baddie. She's she's great. She's she's really good. She was the best character in it until uh, the freak arrived. Oh, the freak. Is that her name, the freak? The freak is the very stern-looking woman at the back of my uh, picture is is B even frightened of the freak? No, because for a while there was a kind of battle between B and the freak to uh, to see who would be the top uh, top dog. Really, well, she B's top dog anyway, because that's the main one amongst the prisoners. But the top dog also kind of runs things. And the freak, the freak sounds like one of those uh, WWF, whatever it's called, wrestlers. She'd have been great at that. She's a big, tall woman she, who uh, used to uh, beat the crap out of pretty much every prisoner. Well, but B's definitely got anger issues. Every time we saw her, she was uh, attacking somebody. She, but the uh, 
her daughter died uh, of a drug overdose. So she's incredibly anti-drugs. And Judy is in prison because she smuggled drugs into Sharon. So that is why B was attacking Judy. Oh, that's why she's a, it's a it's a sore point for her drugs. Yeah. So basically, she's fine unless you're doing drugs or cruelty to children. I think is her other one. So if you if you're in for other than that, she'll probably be fine with you. She hates it if you're cruel to children. The rest of the people there are fine with it, but she really hates cruelty to children. Some of them don't wouldn't care less. Some, no. some of the characters are fucking horrible. <laughs> well, it is a prison, I suppose. It is, yeah. You get some, uh, I believe they, they're referred to as ne'er-do-wells in there. Yeah. It attracts them like like, uh, like a magnet, doesn't it? It does a bit. But um, oh, there is one more prisoner-related thing. And it's a quiz. Quizner cell block H. So I did one of these in series one of this, and I'm doing it again. Essentially, it's multiple choice questions, and whoever gets the highest score at the end of the series wins a solid gold hat. Well, that won't be me. You don't know. It's multiple choice. Well, I might Get... just, you might just guess lucky. Yeah, exactly. That's a... That's why multiple choices are the worst quizzes. Because yeah. you can you, you can, can win without knowing a thing. Yeah. That should be the slogan. Fair enough. Sounds like okay. my sort of quiz. Exactly. Best quizzes. Because the worst thing you can do is well, naught. That's the worst you can do. <laughs> right, so question one. Who is the first character? to be seen getting murdered in the prison? Is it Anne Yates, Bill Jackson, Harry Smith, or Sally Lee? Did I, would I have any way of knowing that? No. Nope. I'm gonna say A then. See, these these questions are gonna be the same for everyone, so they might not, they may accidentally coincide with a uh, episode that's just been seen, yeah. or they may have nothing to do with any of them. Right. My, so, my guess is A, the first one, whoever that was. Okay. So what I'll do is I don't say whether you've got them right and wrong. I'm just going to say your score at the end. Okay. So uh, which character knew Susie Driscoll? You didn't see Susie Driscoll. Yeah. Prior to her arrival at Wentworth, was it Joyce, Judy, Meg or Mouse? I'm going to go for Mouse. Okay. Who found a gun buried in the prison garden? This is this is in about five hundred episodes time. Right. I don't not I don't give a spoiler. Then. I might fast forward to that one there. <laughs> uh, who found a gun buried in the prison garden? Daphne, Julie, Rita, or Willie? Um, I'm gonna say Willie, but I'm gonna say. Uh... Yeah, I, I, I knew you'd want to say Willie, but I'm whether say... you whether you go for Willie or not. Was there a Judy? Was there no Judy? There was a Julie. Daphne, Julie, Julie Rita, Willie. I'm going to go for Daphne, I think. Daphne. Um, oh, another Julie question. What colour was Julie Egbert's cardigan? Brown, Green, probably. orange. No, no, this is much later. This is oh, this, right. th th this would have been like mid-80s. So obviously... You've got more colours. Yeah, it's all, it's all changed by then. Uh, was it green, orange, pink, or yellow? Let's go uh, pink. Uh, the uh, this is this is another one that kind of relates to the show's production values. The actress playing which character changed overnight? Was it, was it Helen Smart, Lisa Mullins, Lorna Young, or Paddy Lawson? Gonna go for the third one. Uh, Lorna Young. Yeah. I'm going to go for Lorna. Oh, this is something we actually kind of discussed. How many episodes were there between Joan Ferguson, the freak, arriving and B. Smith leaving? Oh, Essentially, fuck. how many episodes do they overlap for? Um, 114, 147, 198 or 233? Did you did you say during that? Because I can't remember. I I don't think I said. Oh. But 
I think I'm going to go. I mentioned that they had a kind of overlap, which was when this photo was taken. I'm going to go for A then, the first one. What was Lorelei? Was it Lorelei or Lorelei? I was never sure. What was Lorelei Wilkinson's real first name? Darlene, Lurleen, Marlene, or Wolverine? Probably not Wolverine. Um, you never know. You never Soap know. opera. No, Marlene. Marlene sounds like a good Australian name. They all sound like good Australian names, but <laughs> Wolverine. Um, they were, uh, we're talking about people who have been in other stuff. Alf Stewart from Home and Away. I don't know if you remember who Alf Stewart. Alf. Was he the one that used to say Flaming Galar? Yeah. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't knock your block off. Yeah. Him. Um, he was in Prisoner playing three different characters. Really? So the, the, the question is, which three characters did Alf Stewart play? Bruce, Brad and Fred. Jeff, Kurt and Ernest. Matt, Luke and Ken. Or Stan, Jack and Blakey. <laughs> Last one sounds like on the buses. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for A. <laughs> Bruce, Brad, and Fred. Yeah. Yeah. The last one does sound like on the buses, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I couldn't put Olive in. <laughs> <laughs> what was Rita's brother called? Bongo, Dingo, Mango, or Pingu? Uh, what was that again? What was... What, what was Rita's brother called? Bongo, Dingo, Mango, or Pingu? Let's go uh, Dingo. <laughs> like the dog. And final question. Who moved Vera's radio? <laughs> Was it? A Pauline, bastard. Fletch, Meg, or we just don't know? I think um, Meg. Meg. We probably don't know, but I'm going to go Meg. Okay, well, 10 questions there. So you'd assume based on your, on guesswork, you get like either two or three because the yeah. average should be two and a half. You got four. Oh, fuck me. That's not bad. Four out of 10. Now. Just good at guessing. Well, not that good at guessing, but. No. <laughs> more surprisingly good at guessing than you anticipated than the average yeah i don't know we'll find out what the average is coming in come the end of the series when the uh the prize is awarded and the winner is announced someone if will I... definitely have more than four. Oh yeah definitely yeah. We're, we're having a proper prisoner ex expert up at some point so then they're, they're gonna get but all of them in fact they'll probably tell me if i've got one of the questions wrong is there such a thing as a, a prisoner expert yeah yeah they're really they're, See, the, you get the 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 fans like me, but then you get the, the full on experts who, when I just mention a, an episode number, they'll know what happened in the episode. I can understand how you can be an expert on something like Forty Towers because there's only a few episodes, but six hundred episodes. How, how do you memorize that lot? Oh, I've got no idea. But then again, some people find it weird that I know lots of stupid pop trivia. So it is a bit weird. Yeah, it, it goes. You know, I find it weird that people don't. No, lots of stupid pop trivia. I've just got I've just got a really bad memory, so I probably probably if, if I had a good memory, mm. I probably would have quite a good knowledge. <laughs> just forget. Oh, yeah, I, ca I can't remember important stuff. I'm, I'm fun I could tell you he was like Christmas number one, 1983, but I can't remember my postcode. <laughs> <laughs> no, I keep so forgetting like, mine as well. Yeah, it's it, it's because there's such a a shit collection of numbers and letters. How are you yeah, supposed I, to remember I, those? I often mix up my new one with, with the last one. I know. Um, I couldn't remember my uh, old uh, postcode, and I've been here for ages. And then they changed it, so my post <laughs> my postcode changed. I didn't uh, without moving. My postcode changed. That's weird. And it didn't really affect me at all on the grounds that I still couldn't really remember it. <laughs> so it wasn't that bad. Anyway. Um, what with this being a podcast and that kind of thing, you have a new podcast, don't you? Yeah, I've just started doing another podcast. Yeah, I was doing was doing one years and years ago, and I sort of just stopped, and then 
I thought I'd do another one, so I have. But what the world clearly needs is more podcasts. So the fact that we're both offering something that's in dire need is uh, good enough. But do you want to give a little uh, promo for yours? Because outside the box. Yeah, it's just called Basil Butler Outside the Box. And um, but I, I couldn't recommend it really. It's just it, it's there. I liked it. I it's liked there. it. If you're interested, it's there. <laughs> it's damn so, it. damn sight so shorter than this one. Yeah, I thought I used to do about. I've always thought about half hour was um, a good amount of time for a podcast. I just it think is, how, yeah. how long do I like to listen to them for? And I thought, well, about half an hour is about right. Yeah, oh, th- this one's ludicrously long. So even I, I thought, even I thought, I, when I edit it down, it's like hour and a half. So one I of them I, went. One of them went to two hours. That is a long time, but I suppose, you, I suppose with a podcast you can listen to bits. Of, you don't you don't have to listen to that all at once. You can listen to half of it and then come back to it, can't you? If you want. Yeah, and this one's got a whole episode of a TV show in the middle of it. Yeah, which isn't going to help anyone. Yeah, mine's only about fifteen. I thought I'd keep it to about fifteen twenty minutes. So <laughs> before people got bored. <laughs> I, 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 I was I was well on board with that. I, thought, I, I thought went, finish yeah. before they turn it off. That's my my <laughs> plan. You know, um, on the the hosting, I think this this one's on Acast, so I can go into the hosting of it, and you can look at in every like minute detail of uh, all the stats and stuff like that about each episode. You can see how many people listen for how long stuff like. I get that. I get some stats on mine, but not that I don't pay for the full thing, so I don't get many. My, mine's on on Libsyn, which when I started my other podcast, Basil Butler Show podcast, years ago, it was about getting up for twenty years ago. I struggled to find anywhere where you could, because they were a new thing podcast, it was hard to find anywhere where you could host them. Yeah. And, and Ian Lee, I, I messaged I messaged him, and he, he kindly messaged back and gave me some advice on where to go to, and that he said, uh, Libsyn, he, he'd used Libsyn, he said they were pretty good. Not yeah, I think a few years. people who, uh, who do pods uh, use that. And uh, the reason I used um, ACAS, though, is because they automatically upload it to all the other Hosting yeah, I think it, I think it's I think it's easier for yeah I think it's an easy way of doing it. I cast. Yeah, because I'm buggered if I'm going to sit down and learn how to do that myself. Now with Libsyn, it's quite good. They just give you a list of all the places where you can it can go to, and you just sort of tick them off, and uh, it does it for you once you've done that. That sounds even easier. I should. It's, it's not. Too, it's not too bad. Yeah. I'll have to. I'll have to give that a whirl. Anyway, so um, yeah, so listen to uh, Basil Butler outside the box because. Chances are, by the time I actually get round to releasing that, this there'll be loads of episodes. Up. No, I've got, I've got, I haven't done the second one yet. Oh, that's all right. I've got, I've got, I haven't even started editing any of these yet, and I'm going to release them all on the same day. So it's, um, <laughs> that's going to be fair enough. So um, now you've broken your um, prisoner cell block H cherry. Would you even be remotely interested in ever? And having another look at an episode, or does no, it just not no, work for not, you? Not really, no. I mean, I, I, I can see, I can see uh, uh, that it's uh, amusing to take the piss out of it, but even that's not enough to make me want to keep watching it. Uh, you see, I, I do both. I genuinely love the show, but also will take the piss out of it because. But there are some other people who are such fans of the show that they won't take the piss out of it because they just love it so much. There are others who will only uh, take the piss out of it. So um, I'm somewhere in the middle between the two. It probably um, wasn't as bad as I thought it might be, but it's just... Uh, yeah, it there was no obvious like walls shaking or anything like that. No, but just know, knowing how much there is of it, it just it would seem like um, you know, like a no light at the end of the tunnel. It would seem like you could, the rest of your life. <laughs> the, 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 weird, the weird thing is, there's, um, because there's so many characters and so many stories, You'd expect there would be lots of long-running stories, but there aren't really. The The stories generally last for a handful of episodes at most. A lot of things are resolved pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the little bits seem just to get abandoned rather than finished. Yeah, sometimes they have uh, stories that just are going nowhere, or characters and stories that are going nowhere, so they just end them all of a sudden. It looks Christ. a bit like someone said to them, I-, I want you to make this many episodes in, in this amount of time, and then they've just haven't really got anything. So they've just gone and made that up. Yeah, I don't know I don't know how far ahead they were working in this uh, in this day, because this is obviously quite early on in the run. This is still the first full year of it. So um 
I, they had obviously been commissioned to do however many episodes at this point. But by episodes, uh, when they were told to cancel, I think they were given like 10 episodes or something to wrap up the whole thing. Yeah. And they did. <laughs> and they did really well. So, I suppose, I suppose you could wrap it up in one episode, really. Uh, every, a massive explosion. The, massive explosion, yeah. Although that wouldn't take 10 episodes. You could just have a really long 10 episode countdown timer. Yeah. That would be all it all it needs. Okay. I think we're pretty much done, mate. I think you've you you've sat through the thin gruel that you consider <laughs> prisoner sound like H to be. And I'm you quite, survived. I'm quite pleased that I've seen one episode because now if anyone asks me if I've seen it, I can say yeah. I, I, I definitely yeah, have. And, I've seen uh, one episode. And, and I will never watch it again. <laughs> That's Probably a, not. I don't know, it's fair enough, but it's the sort of show that I wouldn't have thought that I'd like, and so I don't like any of the other soaps, and so it's quite surprising that I like it, but I do. So, there you go. Oh, oh, well. The fact that I'm willing to re-watch the episodes and stuff was, multiple times shows how much I like it. Yeah, or, or and, I do, and I do this as well. Which or also how, um, how mental you are. Possibly, yeah, that would be Anyway, well, thanks for, thanks for, uh, for the roses here are prisoners too. When morning comes around He used to give me roses I wish he could again But that was on the outside And things were different then